Jesus. No, not we, Tavon. You smashed it. Look what you've done. The scenery just gets better and better. It's actually ridiculous. Hello, welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And welcome to a long overdue challenge video. And we're going to go in super hard, aren't we? 500 pound, first cars. We're going to go to Scotland, but not only that, because what are we going to do, Ethan? We are going to go around the North Coast 500. In a video that we like to call <laughs> NC 500 pounds. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that. that's that good. good. Yeah. So yeah. as you can see, we've got three first cars. Jack's got a Saxo, you've got a Focus, and I've got a rather fetching Golf. <laughs> so before we actually head out on the road, and fingers crossed we don't break down, why don't we have a look at the cars and why we bought them. Starting with Jack, should we go to you? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Right, so Jack, you've actually taken this very seriously because the Saxo just screams first car. Um, why and how much? Uh, I don't know, and <laughs> 400 pound. You made 400 Ooh. quid for this? Yeah, I know. I mean, initially looking at it, you'd think maybe that's, you know, 200 pound more than I should have paid. Yeah. <laughs> but this is actually only on 41,000 miles. What? Yeah, I know. That's silly, isn't it? You wouldn't guess it from, you know, like the yeah. lack of feel. I can take that bit off. Yeah, what was it you called it? Is this a pin in patina edition? Oh, oh that's a car, Joe. That is good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> nice. Um, but overall, it is, you know, except for the paintwork, very clean looking. I can't believe 41,000 miles. How does it drive? It drives very well. Oh. Can you fit in it? I don't fit very well in it, though. <laughs> like. um, the steering wheel does bash the top of my knees, but it is quite comfortable. Apart from the fact that the seats don't actually hold you in, it's just a 1.1 Saxo. Yeah, it's power? Uh, 60. Really? Yeah. Oh, that much? Yeah, that's, that not, much. that's not too yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. Not too bad. 60, 60 is actually a, a strong number. A strong number. Strong I wonder number. why you'll say that. Yeah, yeah. well, no, it's good. Uh, Preempting something. Well, I mean, you've got CD player. It looks very clean. Oh, entirely. actually, when I bought this, the um, it was all original. So whoever that bought this, like, I owned it, looked after it. CD player wanted a code put it in. Yeah. It didn't come with the car. My mate Riley donated me, <laughs> <laughs> donated me a CD oh, player. Amazing. So I, I threw that in literally yesterday. Nice. <laughs> so I've done 100 miles in it. And in that time, I've realized this car's like a lot like a shark. In the sense that, you know, like sharks, they need to keep moving to stay alive. Yeah. Yeah, this overheats in traffic. Does it? It does. I just turned the blowers on full heat. Yeah? Yeah, and that okay. seems to cool it down a little bit. It's got a sunroof. It's got oh, a windy sunroof. Up. That's what you want when you go to Scotland. That's good, that. Look, that's stop, proper stop, stable stop, as stop, well. Stop. They are very light. I think they weigh less than 900 kilograms. Yeah, oh, oh whoa, yeah, whoa, that whoa, is whoa. light, Careful. isn't it? Yeah, no. That's the top tip for you. If uh, anyone's parked you in in a Saxo, just pick it up and move it. Anyway, Ethan, what have we got here? Over here is a proper car. Proper, it's bright yellow, okay. Yeah. So nice. dressed like it. Why yeah. are you doing that? I don't get that. I saw an opportunity. Is this the, uh, what do they call it? Millennium edition? Yeah. Oh! Millennial. Yeah. Millennial. 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 Yeah. yeah. So talk to me. Why? Uh, min uh, millennium. <laughs> <laughs> millennium yellow. 1.8. 113 brake horsepower, I think. It's double yours. That's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> Probably weighs twice as much, though. Yeah, true, true. Uh, well, you've got leather. Actually, that's not real leather. That's, that's faux leather. Have a yeah. seat. See what you think. No, not, not you. you. Oh. This is your car. Oh, idiot. Oh, you're inviting idiot. me to have a seat. Oh, I hate it. But this, this fake wood, this is That's just, not fake wood. That is fake. That's 100% fake. That's fault. real. I'll, I'll prove it's fake. What are you doing? That, that, yeah, that is Does fake. that look like wood? Get off. What is the matter with you? The focus owners are going to go crazy. <laughs> is there like a whole millennium yeah, edition focus probably. owners group on Facebook? I'm part of it now. <laughs> oh, no, you're not. One of a thousand. And oh. there's only one of 70 on the road now. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this feels like it might be quite comfortable, actually, to be fair. It is comfortable. What the f on up here. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Uh, your roof like? Don't think these came with sunroofs, so someone decided to put one in. But they Oh my oh, god, is that look what at that this is? disgusting little fake button. Yeah. I think they gave up halfway through. So it doesn't work? It doesn't work, no. Ah. This was also one of the first cars that I let drive on as well. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So oh, this is wow. it. So it's, me it's like memories. What's the outside like? I'm not really had a good look. Oh really good, yeah, yeah. It's quite yellow, isn't it? They're gonna see you coming. That's rail can, isn't it? Yeah, that looks that looks alright. There's yeah, over spray nice. on everything. Are these uh, standard wheels for the? They million? are not standard wheels. Oh, no. mileage? Ninety-five. Okay, it's not right. bad. It's not Just bad. at the point where everything's going to start breaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I spilt my cappuccino on it this morning. Okay. So that's what that is. Right then, that's a proper look at the no, cars. It isn't. No, it isn't. We've got one more, haven't we? One point nine, PD Golf Estate. What more do you want? And it's it's a fetching shade of green. How Correct. much do you pay for this? I paid three hundred and fifty quid. How many miles is it on? Uh, more than more than yours and yours put together, multiplied by two. <laughs>
244,000. Jeez. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So That's not too bad, I guess. It's been to the moon. I don't know if you've noticed, but um, it was silver. It's now not silver. Oh, this isn't factory? No, 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 it's not factory. Oh, it's oh, not a factory oh, job. Oh, it no, it's like it's a factory yeah, finish. I couldn't tell. But you know, I've got the R32 bumper, uh, split. What are you doing? What's in it? Is that a wood screw? <laughs> it might be. Don't worry. Get off! It, active aero. Yep. Yeah. Don't ever need to pay for fuel. <laughs> <laughs> What's the power? Um, it's certainly there. I mean, you've got diesel torque. Yeah. So like right through the rev It is a turbo diesel, isn't it? It's not, is it? <laughs> well, I'm, I might have made a little mistake. So I, <laughs> I bought this in an auction. So I was there like Golf, SDI. I was like, sweet, diesel, good and then drove it and then I lifted the bonnet and I was like, where's the turbo? And then I Googled it and the SDI is the non-turbo. Non-turbo. Which means that it's 67 horsepower. What? 98 pound foot of torque and top speed not even in triple figures. And, and the naught to 60, would you care to guess? 14. 16. 17.2. Oh, it's five 20. seconds slower than, than the sack side to 60. That's seven seconds slower than mine. All right, all right. It's not a power war, is it? Where's your radio? So, yeah, yeah, where is your radio? Uh, well, the radio is, is just here. It's a Bluetooth radio. So oh, I've just... Oh, and it comes with a fridge as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, cup holders on these models are yeah, very good. Okay. And keep fit windows as well. <laughs> so yeah, everything's good. I've got my drinks holder. I've got my Bluetooth speaker. Aren't these usually push down to get them into reverse? Uh, uh, I believe so. Yeah, 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 I believe so. No, don't gloss over that. What does that mean for you? Well, it means that, it means that currently one of the gears is missing. It's not first, is it? It's not, it's not first. It's, it's not, not second either, is no, it? No, it's right. reverse. <laughs> yeah. You know the whole auction fever thing? So I was reading the description, big capital letters. It said, no reserve. And I was like, wow, okay, I've got to buy it. <laughs> Turns out I read it wrong. It uh -huh. said, um, no reverse. Uh -huh. Do you think you'll need reverse? In no, not device? in Scotland. Don't worry about that. Obviously, I've just brought a jack in case one of us breaks yeah. down. Not me. Uh, the tyre pump what's and, and your, jump leads as well. What's your coat? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Oh. You bought your whole shed? I've brought my Sonic tool chest. Okay. I had to take like take it apart a little bit, but right. you know, it's just just in case. But tow bar. This can tow. It can't even tow itself. No, I'm actually very worried. But, great first car, and tax for this, 85 quid, which is better than yours. Yeah. And is. I think considerably better than yours. Yeah, it's quite a bit How much is yours? 154 for six months. For six, six months? months? <laughs> you expect mommy and daddy to pay for six months, 154 quid? Well, they bought me the Millennium Edition. They should fork out for some tax as well. Plus, John suspension, okay, coilovers, which I'm definitely not going to declare to the insurance. Plus, don't need to pay for fuel, as we've demonstrated. <laughs> Pow, pow. So why don't we hit the road and then make our way up to Scotland? Sound good? Yeah, let's just go to Scotland. Let's right. do it. All right. Our journey starts with a 500 plus mile stint from Oxfordshire all the way up through England and across the Scottish border to Inverness. From there, we'll attempt to tame the mighty NC500 route over only three days, aiming to hit the magic 500 mile mark before hopefully making it back to Inverness. All being well, our 500 pound shitboxes will complete their greatest challenge yet, smashing over 1500 miles in challenging but breathtaking terrain. The question is though, are our cars capable of such a challenge? Time to find out. What is this motorized banana doing? Come on little saxo, let's have it. All right, here we go on our maiden voyage. Yes. Let us hope that uh, this 244,572 mile Golf, non-turbo, non-reverse, can get me to Scotland and back. I tell you, considering this is a 20-year-old French car, pretty good in here. Doesn't really rattle. It's kind of comfortable. All right, so first impressions on the motorway of the Golf SDI. Really annoyingly at about 60, 65 miles an hour. I don't know if you can see that, but the steering wheel is like wobble, 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 wobble. It's, uh, it's shaking quite a lot. So the tracking's out or a wheel weight has fallen off at some point. Inside, it's actually really quiet. And the, uh, the job suspension, nice and smooth as well. So I'm very happy. 
This is probably going to be the most uncomfortable part of the journey for the Saxo, is the motorways, you know, it's the high speed stuff. A 1.1 isn't really the displacement that you think of when you think motorway cruiser, you know, something that's going to eat the miles. So it does scream a little bit when you get up to 70 miles an hour. And if I'm honest, with all these big lorries around me, it doesn't feel like the safest car in the, in the world either. I think I'd rather be doing 70 miles an hour in a meringue. All right, name of the game now is just follow Ethan. It's not like it's going to be hard to lose him. He's bright yellow. Wow, yeah. It's a bit rattly, but I think things you kind of expect. There's something over in that door. It's really annoying. 530 miles, just over nine hours to go. What a convoy though. Three absolute weapons. Something underneath the bonnet is um, quite burny, quite leaky. So I'm really hoping that this isn't an early sign of things to come. Guys, we gotta slow down. This thing's screaming, trying to keep up. This little motor is just having to work so hard to try and keep up with these motorway speeds. This isn't what this car's built for at all. These wipers are doing my head in. Did you not check your wipers before we left? <laughs> well, I'll have you know that my wipers are working very well. They're lovely. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Alex. Just really thrilled. All right, here we go. Toll. Am I going to wear it? Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is what? 0 to 60, 17.2 seconds feels like. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nearly at 60. There we go. Guys, my temp gauge is creeping up a little bit. Is it really? Yeah, this traffic isn't doing it any favours. I might have to turn the heaters on in a minute. I'll tell you what though, in the meantime, Jack, I could give you just a just a little just a little bit of a hand if you need. Do not hurt this car. Do not hurt this car. <laughs> what are you doing? Is that better for your uh for your temps? Oh shit, it's going up. <laughs> oh yes! What does bang in the middle mean? Is that good? I wish I was bang in the middle right now. Oh, it's all right now, we're moving, it's fine. Although it is very concerning that my car was at 30 and it's now at 90. So the Golf 2 does not like being in traffic. I'm gonna have to watch that. And I won't tell the guys, obviously. A few hours into the journey and we made our first pit stop as Ethan needed to fix an annoying problem with his car. Hello, do you sell wiper blades? We don't, no, you Hello, mate. You don't sell wiper blades, do you? No. You don't wiper blades? No. Excuse me, mate, have you got any wiper blades? So no joy for Ethan, but as we headed back to the cars, Alex realised he'd made his first rookie error. Uh. You know what, I've forgotten. You know the whole no reverse thing? And now I'm uh, against the verge. Well, what do we do about that? Uh, well, I, I just really want to crack on, so I'm just going to get going. It sounds like a you problem. Well, it's a me problem, which means that it's an us problem. How does his car not having a reverse impact us? Where the f are you going? Nah. So heavy. Might need a hand. Catch us up, mate. Yeah, I might need a hand. Cheers. Close Cheers. my door, Cheers, Jack. Close my door. Give I've me seen... a hand. Give me a quick hand. Asshole. Close the door. Just give me a push. Close Look. the door. I'll my... park and I'll give you a hand. No, you won't. Get Close. out. Close the door. Look, my splitter's in trouble as well. I forgot about the whole reverse thing. Easy to do. You buy a car with no reverse and it's my problem. No, it's our problem. <sighs> see? All it takes is a little bit of teamwork. All right, see you later. Yeah. Do you want to? Maybe. 
Jesus. Ah, right. Away we go. Problem solved, we were back on the road. Jack, can you see the uh, train line down there? there? I think that's the same line. We destroyed Alex in that race. Oh, is that the train line that we, we rode on to destroy Alex and go to victory? Yeah, yeah, that one. He got destroyed and then, and then got in the lake because he just got destroyed. The first time that I lost was because the cameraman was taking a 20 minute shit. The second time, I can't even remember. I don't want to talk about it, but I've got the moral victory twice. If you want to hold on to that for the rest of your lives, then fine, but I should have won twice. You are making excuses. You can't blame it on the cameraman's poop. Oh, here's the border. Welcome to Scotland, Felte Gu Alba. Apologies for that terrible pronunciation. Can't be far to go now. Ah, oh, four hours, nice. With the Wipers playing their greatest hits on full blast, we headed deep into Scotland, where I was experiencing some new issues. If I creep over a bit over 70, sometimes there's just a lot of vibrating, and it's just quite, it's really unnerving. But yeah, I'm sure the guys will be delighted to hear that. Jack, update from the flight deck. Uh, I've just been told that Ethan's car is struggling going over 70 miles an hour. Interesting, interesting. But you know what? Um, it doesn't sound like a me problem and it doesn't really sound like a you problem. So should we carry on at 70 miles an hour? Yeah, it definitely sounds like an Ethan problem. So yeah, we'll just cruise. Oh, Ethan, while you're struggling up these hills in Scotland, Jack and I are just cruising along. So as we approached our next stop, I wanted to check everything was okay with the focus and sought help from my as ever sympathetic colleagues. What are you crying about? I'm not crying, I'm fine. Do you need us to phone you an ambulance? Do you think maybe the wheel nuts aren't done up properly? Or well, maybe. Oh! Oh, that looks tight. Definitely, definitely not loose. That definitely isn't the jacking point for a focus. I think everything's fine, even. I'm not concerned. Let's, let's get rid of this now. We don't want it. Alex, I'll get out of the way. Do it! Do, do it! it. You're do it. the balls. Right, that's. <laughs> Straight. I'll give you a hand. <laughs> Careful! Oh, my car! I wasn't going to do it that hard. That's bad. <laughs> what are you doing? It's eating it. Do you know what's eating it? My tow bar. That's what, what you get. What's wrong with you? That's what you get. I was only going to tap it. Well, we tapped it. No, not we tapped Ethan. it. You smashed Look it. What you've done? You've broken Don't that. Don't dare start. Oh, oh, bloody hell, Ethan. Look what you've done. <laughs> Why are you like the way you are? We were both doing yeah, it. Yeah, we're just going to go... Yeah, we just... We just went with a, a little... Oh, for <laughs> sake. Do you want some wood screws? Because I've got some spare from my car. Good as new. Right, shall we um crack on? With Ethan's car now leaving the services with even more damage than when it arrived, it was time for our final stint to Inverness. Less than a hundred miles away. I can smell Inverness. All right, 
You look like shit. 546 miles. Can you hear mine? It's raring to go still. <laughs> <laughs> wants to get back out there. <laughs> anyway, I think we've done very well. The cars yeah. have done exceptionally well. So um, we'll see you in the morning. Sound good? Sounds good. Yeah. Feeling well rested, we packed the cars ready for another day's driving. But first, my golf needed a helping hand. Well, you want to get in your car, right? You actually have my key. I've got your key, yeah. Why have you got my key? Because I, I need it. I need to hold Ethan's key for ransom. Push my car out. Otherwise, you're not getting your I'm key. Gonna, uh, you bug it off the stage. So I'm going to do that. Fair. Go on, Ethan. Go, go, go. Eight in the morning. What the f do I do? Come on. Look at you go. Come on! Push! 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 I might just do it all of it. Engine sounding a little bit ropey, and not only because it's a 1.9 SDI. Um, I've just checked the oil, and there is like that much and it's black, so it's not doing a lot, and I want to preserve this wonderful dinosaur of an engine. So we are at B&M. But we're going to go and check to see if there's any oil for this motor vehicle. Yeah. We also, Jack, we may or may not find something to purchase Ethan in here ah, to yes. make his life yes. so there's better. A, there's a garden centre. I think a fence panel would be a good present. Everyone needs a fence panel. Yeah, we all agree? Okay, Jack. I, I, I... Okay. Oh. Ah. Why has it got a bit of fencing? I've got you another present. What's that for? It's for you. You like wood. What so, am I going to do with that? I don't know. It's yours. It's your present. I don't understand. Well, you like wood and yeah, fencing yeah, and stuff what? like that. Yeah, that doesn't mean you Ethan, go Ethan's, buy me a fence panel. Ethan's wood, isn't it? On Instagram? Exactly. It's all going to fit in there. It will. It's a cavernous interior. What's the matter with it? It would be unfair to not try and get it in. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. That would be unfair. He has brought me a present. So exactly. At least give it a go. <laughs> you do my head this? There you go. You're not Jack, too bad. come on. Oh, look. Look at that. That is spot on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. oh my. Oh, Shut it. up. That Shut is, up. Yeah. That is actually it. Oh. That is. Perfect. In lots of ways, it solved your headlining issue. <laughs> <laughs> I actually can't do this for 1,100 miles. Jack, does that sound like an us problem? Definitely doesn't sound like a me problem. Alright, should we crack on? Let's do it. Oh, please, can we? <sighs> Alright, so we are now heading over Keswick Bridge, which means that we're now starting the North Coast 500, which is very exciting. Ethan is uh, looking very dapper with his fence panel. My enjoyment is being somewhat dampened by my headroom. I'm going to have to see to that at some point. This car's done the hard bit now. It's got here. It was trying. This car's not very comfortable. Well, I say very, it's not comfortable at all. I'm a bit too big for it as well. I can't get relaxed. I don't know where to put my legs. The pedals in it are designed for people with no feet. And yeah, there are more comfortable cars for doing this in, but this is endearing, there's something about it. This car apparently came from a deceased estate, so well, I think it's safe to assume that it's some old boy or some old girl has owned this. It's probably done, you know, drives to the shops, it's only done 40,000 miles. But it dawned on me that there's a good chance this is the most driving it's done in one sitting, it probably is. I doubt it's gone as ever as fast as I've taken it. I'm not bragging, I'm not saying I'm breaking the law like doing a ton there down the motorway, but I mean motorway speeds. If this was used for dipping around town and you know, getting the shopping and things like that, this is doing things that this car's never done before in 20 years of existence. I like that I'm testing this for the first time in these sort of conditions. I've got high hopes. We've actually started the North Coast 500. That's something I wanted to do for a long time. The car itself, have I bonded with it? It's a bit of a slow burner at the moment. I'm hoping today, me in a banana boat, it's just going to be the start of something beautiful. 
A CSI for Ullapool, that's our destination for there. I think it's about 180 miles. I am already sick of this. Oh, that's a bit better. To be fair, the, the defense panel does fit perfectly in here. Oh, I'm gonna put my wipers on again. How's everyone feeling in their cars anyway? Everyone happy, everyone bonded? How are your windscreen wipers, Ethan? Can you stop that? That's quite annoying, actually. Jack, I have to endure this every single minute. I'm sure there's somewhere we can stop that will have wipers for you, right? Oh no, wait, no. Yeah, I'm not that hopeful, seeing as the last shop said, this is the last shop before you get to Wallapool. And how far is that? Like another 150 miles or something. Well, you better get used to the sound of them wipers then. Guys, can we pull in a sec? Why? I just need to um, sort my car out a bit. What's wrong with your car? Uh, nothing, I just need to do some rearranging. You all right? Yeah, yeah. You got an issue? No, 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 I just need to sort my car out a little bit. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with the car? Oh, look at it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, good. Good, yeah, yeah, it's good, isn't it? It is good. Careful. What? Whoa! Whoa! No! Stop! What? Stop. What? What are you doing? Nothing, nothing. What are you nothing. actually doing? Nothing. Why are you kicking it? No, Let's just put that back, shall no, we? No, no, we're dismantling it. Are you seeing this? That was a gift. That was a gift. No, I know. I'll take it, but just in bits. Do you have a saw in your tools? Might do. Do you actually? I'll take it apart with a ten mil. <laughs> do you actually have a saw? Can I borrow your hammer? No. Nope. No. Come on. You're, no, you're not borrowing anything. Can I have one tool? One tool. I'm not a tool. Here's a tool. <laughs> um, one tool. No. No, that's hand in hand. No. That's no. Hand in hand. One tool. One tool. Okay, I'll have that. I can have that one then. Okay. No, that's that's a mistake. That is a mistake. Yeah. There, that's a couple of good bits there. We we'll use that. Jack, shall we grab a coffee? Yeah. Let's get a coffee. Good luck. Could could I have a cappuccino, please? No. Nope. Oh, I did that in one. That's better. So peaceful here, isn't it? That's better. Lovely. And no stress. Beautiful. That's good wood, that. I'll use that. Yeah, bring that with, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I'll bring that with, yeah. Right, just a quick interruption. I received an email last night from uh, a lady called Julia um, telling Ethan and I uh, that her sister Jenny was involved in a really uh, bad head-on car crash. We met Jenny about six years ago. Yeah. When she was 14, uh, they came to London from, from the US uh, and Jenny's a, a mega fan of CT, so we took them out for lunch and stuff. Uh, Jenny suffers from cystic fibrosis, so she's had quite a rough time health-wise. She's got now uh, life-altering uh, health issues. Um, it's, it's really quite bad. So we just wanted to say, uh, Jenny, we hope that you're doing all right, that you get better, uh, that you're well on your way to recovery. And also, uh, Jenny's got a fundraiser, and we want to help out a little bit. Uh, why don't you tell them how? So we're going to take the fence panel uh, that I so delicately dismantled. Yes. <laughs> and I'm going to make a map of the NC500. Hopefully it will look all right. Yeah. And uh, we're all going to sign it. Yeah. And then we're going to... We're going to auction it. There'll be details below, but um, yeah. We just want to raise as much money to uh, to help Jenny out because um, yeah she's a really cool girl and you know she's had she's had a lot of shit in her life so uh, this only adds to it so Jenny again from the bottom of our hearts we hope that you get well very soon. Oh, oh that's so much better.
Okay, so we are now convoying up um, a big hill that's going to take us the other side of the mountain there. I think the Scottish call it Muck Big F Off Hill, Pa. So apparently this hill is quite big and it's going to be quite a challenge for some of our motor vehicles. How's everyone feeling? It can't be that big though, right? No, no, I mean, what's the worst that'll happen? This is mad. <laughs> you kind of don't expect this kind of thing in the UK. Like, the, the weather's not great, but it does make it even more striking with the clouds rolling off the side. Oh, it's quite nerve wracking. This is all tight, single track as well. This is like James Bond, you know, where he goes home and then he shoots the shit out of all the bad guys. This is like where he lives. And this car is my Aston Martin DB5 with a poo 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 poo. Because this car is also bulletproof. Okay, so the scenery is excellent. This is lovely, even though it's quite misty. It's, it's kind of spooky, but amazing. These mountains are, they're surreal. What's not so surreal is the fact that my temperature gauge is not creeping up, it's, it's really jumping up. Stopping and pulling over is really not helping, especially when there's traffic up ahead and you've just got to give way. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got some sort of airlock or some, something's going on, something funky. Sometimes the hot blowers blow cold, sometimes they blow warm. Sometimes it's running super cold, sometimes it's running super hot. It's not particularly loving life up here though, I'll tell you that. The scenery just gets better and better. It's crazy, it's just, yesterday we're in Oxfordshire and it's flat and everything, and then the next day you're in the same car and then you're just up here. It's ridiculous. It's actually ridiculous. I think we've made it to the top. We have made it to the top. Oh my God. Yes. The views are shit. Literally can't see a thing. It's all right, isn't it? Huh? It's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Well, na bar. Nice. Be nice to see it though. Yeah. Pardon? Be nice to see it though. Oh yeah, be nice to see it. Should we go back down? Yeah. What's the next stop, guys? Where are we going? I believe it's called Cory Shallot Gorge Nature Reserve. I'm almost saying that's not how it's pronounced. All I heard was the word gorge, and now I'm hungry. Oh, I hurt. I hurt all over. The pain is kind of numb, though, because this place, man, so good. This section actually isn't North Coast 500 official. Uh, we've gone a slightly different way, but it's still just unreal. <laughs> Everywhere you look, every aspect of it is incredible, even with the weather. After making excellent time in our three ship boxes, it was time to visit the local gorge, which, as you'll see, was a bit of all right. Holy shit. Wow. Oh my what? Oh my God, look how. What? So this is a George. A, a gorge. A gorge. Not a George. George, gorge. Oh, that's making my legs go. That's deep, is it? That. Yeah. What about a bit of that? No, no, no. Do you want to go in? <laughs> stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. <laughs> Oh wow, that's, oh, that's oh amazing. My god, oh my god, oh my god. This was worth the stop, this is good. That's really deep. We need to get our cars on here. Yes. It says maximum six people on the thing. Didn't say anything, Didn't about, say cars. anything about cars. Minimum one car. <laughs> <laughs> Last little bit then for the day. I have bonded more with the Focus, to be fair. I'm looking forward to a few more days of it. But now it's time to head to our hotel in Ullapool. So we've done about 700 miles today. We've arrived in Ullapool. How are you guys feeling? It's daylight. It is daylight. It is a wow. <laughs> yeah. Feeling quite ropey. Yeah. You don't look it. 
I feel yeah, well, you look ropey. Okay. You look like shit. Sex <laughs> has, has beaten me. The mind is willing, but the body is broken. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a, a light on the dashboard. I mean, it's a VW Audi group car, but yeah, lights just come on. Yeah, I'd be worried if it wasn't one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, fair. And also, there is slash isn't an issue with my near side rear suspension. That might need looking into. Yeah. Because we're not done yet, are we? We're definitely not done yet. No, we're no. not even halfway through. I hope you've enjoyed episode one of our NC 500 pound epic adventure. The cars are still here. We're hanging on by a thread, but we are willing and able to continue. So um, if you'd like to see that, then make sure you join us next week and find out what's <laughs> with my car. <laughs> that might be quite interesting. Find out what's <laughs> with Ethan's car and then find out how my car is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, so join us next week because, uh, yeah, this is definitely not the end of the road. I to wear. Uh, this was a dino room, I was promised. Uh. Subscribe. Watch. Beer. 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 Beer me. Beer me, Blazer. <laughs> <laughs>